Auto Car Central. Today's spe special section, we're going to be discussing 49 and 50 Mercs. We're going to be discussing chopping and the stock portion of the 50 Merc. We'll be right back with after this message from Nitro Stan Putty. Hello, I'm David Spitzer. I've been building models for 25 years, and the only putty that I can rely on is Nitro Stan. It's fast drying and it's the easiest to work with. I prefer Nitro Stan. And we're back. Our first topic is going to be discussing the chopping of the 49 Merc. Here we have a prime example of an original. Notice how high the top the, the roof is and we're going to discuss first on where we want to cut. First of all, I'm going to show you where we want to cut. Well, first we've got to figure out the pillars. We've got this pillar right here. All right, we want to chop it right about there, keeping that radius right in there. So, now next we want to chop it this uh, window post right at the very top there. That way we can leave the distance the same and for the window and then just chop off how much we want to need. Now, the second, we have to decide if we want that a straight post or if we actually want that to slant in. I'll tell you, I like pr preferably like the slanted look, but it's really up to you. Now, next, we want to go to the roof and make it cut right across there. Right across there. Alright? Now we go to the back end, cut right around there. Alright? Going to the side, we'll continue the cut right there. Now, after we get that, we will proceed to cut right at the top, right at the bottom. Although, we will be talking to Ron Pittman about the actual chopping. He actually has done many more than I have. So we will, we will then talk to how his expert way of doing it. We will lower the top. All right, we'll glue the front post on at our lower. We'll just see, we'll just snip off how much ever we want to lower. All right, then this, we'll just drop the rear end. See, that'll be slit. It'll be slit right there, so we'll just drop that rear end, fix our ride height at the roof, glue it, and then we'll continue the putty. All right, here's one that we have that has been is in the starting stages of. We, it's already been cut, as you can maybe see there. All right, we've got a little work there. Post. We have got. There's the fondo line right there. And notice how it continues around the rear. So, see there? Alright, we've got our right height adjusted. Very fine right there. And we've got the bond of work. Actually, it's Nitro Stand Spot Putty, which I prefer over any other putty. So, we've got that all preferred. So, what you're going to need to do is take your sandpaper, lightly sand that. You're going to have a little little crease right there. It's going to have a little dip. You're going to want to take a piece of cardboard or something and run it straight across the top of there. Just straight across there and then sand that. Alright. Now you have to sand all around there. You got to get your however you want to do it inside there and you'll be all set. Now next thing you might want to do is punch in your headlight headlights there which you might be able to see. Just a little nitro stand putty right around the rings. Then we'll uh, just sand that very nicely. There we go. We'll get another look at that. Another look at that model right there. See there? Okay. So we're going to be back in a minute talking to Rick Pittman about the stock version of the 49 and 50 Mercury and about the chassis building so you can take off the body and have a very nice looking chassis and engine compartment. Be back in a moment. Hello, I'm Mike Key, and I'd like to advertise my new book called Lead Sleds. It is a book compiled of the best lead sleds in the business. As you can see, I'll show you a couple examples in here. See, there's a 40 Ford there, and uh, let's see, there's some more. Ooh, there's a Merc right there. See that Merc? That's a real nice one. 
Let's see. And I just happened, Mr. Ron Pittman was nice enough to let me put his mark in the book, too. I'm very thankful to Ron Pittman and all his help. And sometimes I didn't, Ron Pittman wasn't there to help me, so I didn't know what kind of car it is, and the wrong caption got into the wrong picture. But that doesn't matter. This would make a fine gift for any real hot rodder friend of yours. Lead sledder, mercury lover, that kind of guy. Maybe you could get by it for his birthday. Just remember, Mike Key's Lead Sled Book. And now, back to the show. Well, welcome back to the show, and, well, your good host, David Switzer, has asked me to step in today for him and present a little bit on a 50 Merc. As you can see here, I have a 50 Merc chassis that I worked on for quite a while. And, uh, well, this is how it turned out. I got my flat gray gas tank. And, let's see... I put dual exhaust on this one as you can see you know right here but the original Mercs had single exhaust okay but I like dual myself because it makes the car look more even Let's see we got our flathead in there remember try to find a green a nice green you know let's find that uh, engine in there yeah uh huh nice green in the white walls and see here I hooked up the steering myself it took many hours of hard work but I got it to work see that working steering and let's see you can see the dual exhaust a little better now you see right there okay now let's talk about making a 50 Merc okay what I did okay I got the snap together uh, Merc, 49 Merc. They advertise it as a 49 Merc, but it has 50 Merc fenders on there. So what I did, I took the fenders and I cut them off the Snap Together kit, and I cut the fenders off this AMT Ertl 49 Merc, which are 49 fenders, and I put them on, and now I have a 50 Merc, and I cut out the two little brace, uh, rear window braces in the rear. And you have a 50 Merc. And then next, I got a 50 Merc grill. I can't find it right now, but Jim Gatewood made some for us. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, that's that. Let's see. And if you ever were thinking about doing some framework, well, this is a nice time. Let's just think about it. Okay, I started out with this the 58 Chevy chassis and then let's see I cut away I cut away all the pieces like so and I ended up with this just a nice chassis there you see and when you're done you're gonna have little holes all along the rails here. So what I did, I took our good nitro stand spot putty and I filled in the holes. A very good sponsor of ours, of course. And I filled in the holes, sanded it off. And then, uh, basically, you know, painted it with our Krylon paint. Okay, so then that's that. Let's see here. You get a nice engine done for it. I've been working on this engine now for quite a while. See, it's a 4 well, it's a 348. You, know, you can tell by the orange valve covers, and that's the only thing you, you get in 58. Okay. Well, let's think. That's about it, I guess, but let's see. Oh, what do we have here? Here's a very fine example of a 49 Merc chopped see there it sort of reminds me of American Graffiti my favorite movie oh, oh the grills going there remember the pharaohs in American Graffiti okay there see that nice chop top 
Okay. See the side? See how nice that line is there? Notice the leak pipes? Yeah. And the front wheels roll. See there? The rear wheels roll. And rounded hood corners and French headlights. Very fine example of Ron Pittman's work. Well, I guess that about wraps it up. And before I leave, we will be taking another sponsor onto our show. We would like to welcome Krylon onto our show. Well, here they are to try to sell you their product. Hello, I'm Mr. Han, president of the Krylon Corporation. We do our best. We have the best chemists and the best chemical engineers around to help us produce the best paint. Krylon. Don't use anything else. It's the best. Hello. We're back, and this concludes our section of the 50 Merc restoration, chopping, and the stock portion. Well, next week we're going to be taking a look at Ron Pittman's model collection, probably one of the largest, probably the largest in the world. And we're going to see a finished example of a 50 Merc, maybe this one possibly. Okay. So thank you for joining us. I'm Rick Pittman. And Dave Spitzer from Model Car Central. See you next week.